Hi guys, today we are going to do part two of introductions and today we're going to introduce you to our rats and just explain to you how we deal with a rat and cat household. We have five rats, um, they are all male, so um, I always wanted to have rats as a child and my mom was very much against having rats, um, so the moment I got my own place I decided, you know what, it is time and we got our two first rats which are no longer with us unfortunately, Mary and Pippin, and since then I've had a pretty, well we've always had, had rats since then. And those are our current boys. So we, we chose boys because they tend to be more laid back than the females. The females are more active. And you obviously can't keep male and female together unless the male is neutered because rats can reproduce very, very quickly. So let me do introductions. This big white boy is Eddie. And he is very laid back, very sweet. I am a little concerned about him at the moment because he has a little lump under his arm, but we're gonna have that checked by the vet and he'll probably have to have it removed. Lumps are very common uh, illness in rats, but the ones, eddies are usually quite, um, well, benign, so we can just have them removed and they recover very quickly. Rats are very, very healthy animals and heal quicker like magic. Then the second boy is, Eddie's brother, Venom, he is very naughty. He um, is very dominant and he is the only one who will antagonize the cats when they are near the cage. Then we have our oldest boy currently and my secret favorite, this is Bucky, named after the Winter Soldier. And he is absolutely fantastic. He is super outgoing. He is afraid of nothing. He loves to be outside of the cage to explore. Um, and as I don't know if you can see on the video, let me see if I can show you. He is the alpha, even though he is the smallest. And because of that, he has, he's a Dumbo, so the ears on the side and he has two split ears because he kept getting into fights. Um, nothing bad, so we didn't have to have anyone neutered. Just around uh, six months of age, they can become a little bit rowdy and a little bit hormonal. And so he, at that stage, had to impose himself with the others. And when they hit six months, so that's where he got his injuries. But he healed fine and he's a happy chap. Then we have our two youngest, if I can find them. Ugh. This is Hyori. So he's a beautiful dove boy with the white nose. He is also quite a chunk and he's a bit timid compared to the others but he's also very very vocal so he chatters a lot especially with uh, Toby. He seems to prefer Toby to myself and he will talk to him quite a bit. And then our last and our young and small boy is Hero. So he's a silver rat and he is a lot of fun. He is also like Bucky, he likes to explore quite a bit. When he's out the cage on the couch, he's the first who usually climbs across onto the coffee table and onto the occasional chair we have um, in our lounge as well. So those are all our boys. Rats, some of you may think are weird as a pet. I think they're fantastic. They are cleaner than cats. They are smarter than dogs. Um, they're even quite trainable. We have chosen not to train our cats because we, uh, our rats, because we also don't have the time to put into it, unfortunately. But they live very happy lives, and we do try to keep them in a very natural, enriched environment. So we do take them outside when it's not too cold. And in their cage, we don't just give them a bowl of food. We do our own mix of, of, of grains and dried fruit and vegetables. We basically just have foraging toys and we scatter the food so that it basically gives them that natural feel and so that they must work for their food and hopefully get Eddie and Kyori to lose a little bit of weight as well, or at least maintain their weight. 
Right, so this is our dry mix. As I said, we make it ourselves. I dry my own fruit and vegetables to make sure that they're from of good quality and with no additives. And then it's just a mix of grains, of protein, pasta, wheat, oats, herbs. So it is a... Uh, and the recipe does come from uh, one of the breeders here in South Africa and from the Red Union in South Africa. So I know that there's everything in there that they need with no additives and none of that um, lower quality ingredients that you get from pet stores. So you'll see we have a dig box in the cage. So that's so that they can get a dig around. We can hide the food in there. It can also, the seeds can grow in it so that they have sprouts to eat. Then we also have a hay box where we can sprinkle food so they need to look for it. And then we have two foraging toys. One that I make, well, we both made them ourselves. So the easiest is actually just to keep your toilet rolls. And then you basically fold in the ends. You can put their normal food in there. You could also add treats. Every now and then we'll make treats for the cats with tuna and so on, and the rats can definitely have that as well. And then you basically just fold it into a little package and then you can put that in there and it just keeps their brains busy and occupied. They also are less destructive when you do that, like dogs are. And they basically have to work their way through the fold or mostly they actually just um, chew through the front. And then we have this foraging toy, which is basically just uh, little plastic jars that we've stacked on top of each other and put a string through. And they basically have to tilt it and try to reach into it, which again is just a little bit trickier than just having the food available. And that way we keep them mentally stimulated. Now, as far as rats and cats go, um, we've had a lot of different reactions from our cats to the rats. Alice is totally unbothered. She can be on the couch with us when the rats are out. She will let them run all over her. And she really doesn't seem to mind them at all. And they're quite intrigued by her. The rats are, aren't afraid of the cats at all. Then Kebi, Maya and Ryu are just not interested. They, I don't even think they know the rats are there or if they do, they don't care. The only one who's been giving us a little bit of trouble is Momo, as usual. <laughs> um, so he loves to sit by the cage. We have a desk that's right by, by our rat cage so that Toby can, when, he work, when he's working, can, can also let them out and can play on the desk and so on. And when they are locked in, they're all napping now. Um, when they're locked in, Momo will sit right by the cage on the desk and will basically watch them. And from time to time he'll climb up against the cage, which we don't encourage, so we'll correct that behavior as much as we can. And that's the moment where we need to be really careful because a little feisty boy, Venom, will sometimes see Momo at the edge of the cage and go and try to snip, like, um, snap at him. Which obviously can be quite dangerous because um, rat bites are quite sore and can be quite deep. So we do have to be a little bit careful. We never let the rats out unsupervised. And otherwise, we've never had any issues, really. So if you have cats and you've always wanted to have rats, I don't think there's any reason not to have both, as long as you make sure your, your cage is really escape proof. And when you have playtime with the rats, make sure that either the cats are locked away or if you trust our, your cats enough, just make sure that you're there to supervise because it is in the instinct to hunt rats, obviously. So there we go. Those are our rats and they make fantastic pets. And I would recommend anyone who is thinking about having, who basically wants a dog, but without having to walk them and maybe not having the apartment space for it. Well, rats make a great alternative. There we go. Thanks so much for tuning in again. And if you have any questions regarding our rats, please feel free to leave us a comment below and give us a subscribe, a like, and we'll do the third introduction, well, in the next few months, hopefully, where we'll have two more pets to show you. And then we'll, two, three, three more pets to show you, and then we'll be done. Thanks so much, guys. See you soon.